Good morning everyone. This is Jackie with Paper Cuts and we're doing Mixed Media Monday. So I'm glad you've joined me today and I hope uh, we make some progress. I'm trying some new things and I'm not that good with Mixed Media so today I thought we'd uh, do some watercolor painting and then I have this beautiful bunny napkin and I'm gonna put the bunny in some flowers but I'm gonna not use the napkin flowers I'm gonna try and do my own flowers so uh, I hope <laughs> it doesn't turn out to be a catastrophe but um, I've got my watercolors over here and some brushes. I already pre gessoed my background, so if I don't like it, I can gesso over it again. Um, or any mistakes that I made would make, which will probably be quite a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my bunny and my a watercolor pen and I'm just going to go around and wet the napkin along the outside edges so that I can tear it. I've already removed the backing uh, t to the napkin so I did some prep work but um, we'll see. I kind of want an idea of where to put my flowers so that's why we're doing it this way I'm not gonna put the bunny down yet because I don't want to get uh, my watercolors on him I want to do my background first but I just kinda need a idea of how big he is so I just wet the outside of the napkin and then just kinda tear it along the edge because I didn't want to perfect cut bunny and I even though you know Easter's gone uh, bunnies are predominantly we see in our spring season so I thought it would be perfect we'll be doing some watercolor painting and some decoupaging so we'll see how she turns out I don't know if I've never done this before so this is the first so we'll see I probably should be squeezing this pen a little bit so a little more water comes out there it goes and then I'm just gonna try to figure out without using the flowers from the napkin I hope everybody had a great weekend I sure did I went down to uh, visit my daughter she got a new apartment about a month ago and has really been struggling finding a couch that she liked so that was the primary goal was to find her a couch and we did accomplish that and then then we went out to dinner and did some mega walking to the juice bar and just really had a nice time I always really enjoy spending time with her. She's so easygoing is the word and I have a tendency to be more hyper and more not so easygoing and she brings out that in me and okay so there's our bunny. He's gonna take up a good portion of our page so I'm just gonna kinda outline 
a little bit of where I want my flowers. I think I'm going to put him a little off center and then put a word up here. So I hate it when my paper curls, but it that's what it does when it gets wet because it's a trash bag. So kind of I'm just dipping my brush into uh, my watercolor and I put some water in them already uh, so that I'd be able to figure out kind of where my flowers will go. So I'm just outlining a little bit of my color and then I'll know where to put my flowers so that okay so he's gonna kind of sit in there so as you see I just put down a little bit of paint here and I'm just gonna make like a rose pattern and the thing I like about putting gesso down first is it kind of gives a resist so that you can move your paint a little bit and get kind of what you want and uh, as you can see my hands shaking a little bit because I'm a little nervous I don't even know what kind of flower this would be but I'm uh, just abstract painting moving what I have on my brush around a little bit and then I'm gonna put a yellow center in and see if I can put some yellow in here and as you see I'm just really doing it very abstract I kind of just want the bunny to blend in a little bit and we'll work on this blue one a little bit over here I took a darker blue than what I initially did so it'll kind of stand out a little more I don't know what kind of flower this is either <laughs> I'm not uh, trying to be you know perfect with it I just want some color and then I'm going to put some polka dots I think um, at the top every now and then I'm going to take my bunny and sit him in and see how he works well, that looks pretty good <clears throat> now I'm going to get some fl uh, flowers, uh, some leaves in here. a little leaf 
over. I should probably do it a little more jaggedy. But it's all about experimenting. You know, we can't be perfect at everything and sometimes we just need to play and see how things go. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm playing. I should watch a little YouTube and uh, see how to really watercolor. Putting a little grass in there. I'm going to take a little lighter green now and kind of fill in. Hope you can see. That dark green kind of takes over, doesn't it? a little more water into my color because I don't have enough. <clears throat> Just trying to mute it a little bit. And you can always do layers upon layers upon layers, you know. It's not like you just put down one layer uh, and then that's it. And that's the beauty that I like about experimenting because you can put as many layers on as you want. And then when it dries, you have some dimension. I probably should have brought the blow dryer down uh, so that I could dry this. But So that's what we have so far. It looks kind of weird, huh? <clears throat> I'm going to play a little more with the blue, I think, and um, put a little more blue in my flower over here. Um, and then we'll need to put um, a center in it. So I hope everybody's doing well and trying to get back to a little bit more normal life. I know I am. And uh, so far, you know, I'm trying to travel every now and then. I think I'm going to put a pink center in this uh blue flower just for some color if I get enough paint on my brush and I'm just dotting
I saw the most beautiful flowers on our walk. Oh, they were just gorgeous. I don't know what they were, but um, absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going in trying to get a little more dimension with my leaves. Get them a little more. Defined. Okay. And I think I'm probably going to put a pink flower right in here. Butt it up to that orange flower. I'm kind of going by the pattern on the bunny. Uh, so I can take all of this off and then tuck her in. So she looks like she's, oops, sorry, I hit the camera. So I think I'll do more of a coppery color. Ooh, too much water. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll just move her around. It's supposed to be like a rose, but I don't know. I had way too much water on my brush. Let's see if I could take some of this off. Got a wet wipe to my right, and I'm going to have to use, I think, a different brush to fill this in. with the lighter pink. I uh, got a blob, so I am going to take a paper towel and just see if I can lift some of this without mashing it and then I can move it around a little bit <clears throat> let's try the smaller one and as you can see I'm playing with some brushes as well because I don't know what brushes work best for you know, what kind of look you want, and I'm just trying to smooth some of that out a little bit, that color. Alrighty, so let's try this lighter pink and see if we can get that in here. I don't think it looks like a rose, guys, but that was the goal. Maybe when it dries. we can get some lighter color in. All right, so while that dries, I'm going to do some polka dots in different colors up here. And then I'm gonna go back in and define my flowers a little bit. 
So I have these little sponges, so I'm going to give it a shot because they're perfectly round. And I'm just going to kind of like dip them in the, my watercolor and get some paint on the ends. Just kind of dabbing it and we'll see if it works. And I've got different sizes. Um, I think we need a little more water in my colors. So I have different sizes of circles, so I'm going to try the two different sizes and see if we can get some different colors. The sponge soaks up a lot of the water in from the watercolor, so I'm trying to put down a little more water so that it comes out a little darker. There we go. So I'm going to go over that circle again and just press down. And I'm just randomly putting on these little circles in a little color. Let's see how that works. up here. That didn't work very good. Okay. There we go. Got to make sure you get some paint on it, huh? I want to go over this one just a little darker. And then I'm going to clean off my brush and or my sponge and put a little another color down. Squeeze out the water, sorry for my reach. And I think we're gonna do the blue now. Oh, that one's better. And then some of them I'm gonna overlap. Um, here and then I'm going to get one more color I think I like the yellow that would be pretty brighten it up a little huh so this little sponge I got I think I shared in another video on clearance at Michael's and there were three different sizes and it was only five dollars so I thought oh that would be fun to try mixed media with A little yellow over there we'll try one more yellow one right in here and then we'll put our bunny down again and see what other so we could put a couple more in here and one more here so let's see, what color do we want? I like the copper or pink color, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll try it.
think I want it up here on the side. And I put wax paper underneath my page so that um, I think I'm going to put another one here overlapping the yellow. And then I think I'll put one here. And having a paint on it that time. There we go. And we'll put another one over here. I'm just holding down the page. Sorry for the reach over the. Okay. I like that. Just going over my copper a little. <clears throat> there we have it. Pretty bright, huh? I'm thinking maybe one more in here, but let's just see. Oh, no, that's where his ears go. One more right here. And I think this time I want something a little darker because I want to put a border on it. But uh, let's see. We've got this orangey color. Well, maybe it's pink. I don't know. I think it's pink. Yeah. So I think I will use that one with this one. Just random. Boy, is it random. But we're creating, right? Okay, so I think I have it where I want it. Now I'm going to take the flowers out of the bottom and I'm going to decoupage it down and then we're going to work on these lower flowers just a bit and then we'll be done. See how it turned out. So my water pen and I'm just going to try to remove uh, exactly where the flowers are and um, kind of blend hopefully my painting I need a little more room my table is just not big enough for mixed media right so I'm just off to the left here going around my bunny a little bit and see he's gonna sit right in there and we might have to <clears throat> expand our flowers once we get him collaged down because I want him to look like he's tucked into the flowers Just tearing him around. Okay. 
So he's kind of nestled. We've got a little bit of, we'll probably have to expand our, okay, so little bunny is now in there. So I'm going to take my decoupage glue, Mod Podge, I don't know why I call it decoupage, but Mod Podge, and a brush, and then put little bunny down and then we'll just sure it up a little. Got a hair in him from the doggy. Must have been attached to my arm or something. Who knows? So I'm going to just lay this in. Make sure I have glue down. Kind of work him in. Because uh, this isn't as easy as it looks, huh? Um, there we go. And I'm okay with him having a little bit of wrinkles because that kind of gives a little dimension to him and makes him look more real into the page, I think. Put a little hair on his face. There's that silly hair again. I think. And the paper underneath has its own crinkles in it, so that adds some texture to him, her, him or her. Oops, be careful, Jackie, you're tearing her up. I always forget, you got to be a little gentle. I'm just pouring a little Mod Podge on my brush to kind of get that ear down. And then as it dries, the napkin just kind of blends in with the picture. So, bunnies down, looking kind of cute, I would say. little different than anything I've ever done so I have to be forgiving of my work that isn't always the case for me so I want to build on this rose a little bit so I'm just going to use my watercolor brush uh, then I don't get as much water and then I want to kind of go in here and just put a little more of an outline. And then the same, I'll do the same with my leaves. I'm going to use the dark green. See if I can make it blend just a little bit more.
Now you could, if you wanted to, decoupage the whole thing to seal your paint in if you want. Um, I'm not right at this moment because I want my colors to um, set first. Now I could go ahead and dry it and then do that if I wanted. Um, but the video is getting kind of long already and I want to, I'll probably decoupage it after I'm done because I want to put a border on it as well and try to frame it a little bit so it's darker. So I'm just filling in adding a little more color to my page <clears throat> and I have to say it came out a little better than I thought it would so I'm I'm rather pleased so <coughs> Once the watercolor dries, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm probably uh, going to go decoupage the whole thing and uh, get my border on it because it'll make it pop a little bit. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching today. I hope you got some ideas on... Uh, doing your own mixed media picture or painting or whatever. It's about playing and trying new techniques to figure out what works for you. Thank you so much for watching and um, comment down below if you could. Uh, I don't get a whole lot of comments. But I do love them, and I like to know if you're enjoying my videos at all. And um, I will come back when uh, I get the border on, and uh, probably next Monday, and show you the finished results, okay? Thanks for watching now, and God bless you. Bye-bye.